and here it is, the Zebec Corsair. Before my review, let's look at the spec. Hello and welcome to another review. Now it seems like a while since my last one but I've actually been super busy with some family commitments and it's been Father's Day here in the UK recently quickly followed by my son's birthday. But I'm back and here I am with the Zebec Corsair. Now I've had it loaned to me by Cal over at Zebec up in Scotland and this is the Silent Night or the green but Curious Orange and Meany Blue is also available. But a quick wrist check, now I'm wearing the Helm Komodo with silver bezel and engineer bracelet, the Komodo being the third Helm purchase of my complete set, and I was reluctant at first because it was back in the day when I flatly refused to wear any watch below 42mm case diameter, so I felt that the Komodo at 40mm would be too small, but actually I quite liked it and then I kind of fell in love with it. But anyway, back to the ZC one, and as mentioned, it was loaned to me to do this review. Now, Zebec Watches is based literally a stone's throw away from the sea up in East Lothian in Scotland, and it's the beach that inspired the name Zebec. Apparently, there's a wreck on the beach that the local kids call the pirate ship, and Carl at Zebec decided to name the brand after it because Zebecs were actually small, fast ships used by traders and Corsair pirates on the Mediterranean Sea in the 1700s. Now I'm a brand person in my day job, running a huge creative function over here in the UK, and I've always loved the history and reasonings behind brand names, and to me there's something boyish, almost, almost infantile, but in a very positive way about the history behind this brand. Kind of like taking a memory, an era, something so personal, and giving it a legacy behind brand. And I get that feeling with this Beck Corsair, both in name and design. In fact, the logo is actually a parrot, Archie the parrot in fact, who is the founder's father-in-law's favourite bird. Plus it references the whole pirate ship thing in a kind of a very playful and good-natured way. So what you do get for your £250, and that's about $310 in today's market, is this diver's watch with internal bezel. 
the crown at 2 p.m with a nice little color match in there just to reference the color of the inner bezel and that pops out and you can rotate that and scoot back in rather than having a physical bezel itself now that has reduced the thickness of the Corsair at a modest 12 and a half millimeters it's 42 millimeters in diameter 46 and a half millimeters lug to lug which is fairly compact meaning for me it will sit nicely on my seven and a half inch wrist it's got really good weight to it which makes it feel quite premium 20 millimeter at the lug which tapers down to 17 and a half millimeters at the clasp it's got a super engineered bracelet it's stainless steel it's five links which i actually really like i think it gives it um gives it a lot of flexibility and wriggle it's quite chunky very comfortable it has push links that's okay for the price it's a proper mill clasp and it's got uh, six micro adjustments logo stamped on the clasp as well it's got a solid case back with a parrot logo on the back shielding the ever reliable Seiko NH38 now being an NH38 it obviously has no date which I actually prefer and the uh, the crown at 4 p.m. pops out nicely without that extra little notch now going back to the solid case back the logo is deep stamped it's not laser etched which looks a lot more premium for me and as you can see it has a heart sheet deep stamped on the back so no display case back and according to Karl Atzebeck this is because he felt the NH38 wasn't attractive enough to have a crystal case back so he gave that a swerve basically the case itself is 316L stainless steel, sapphire crystal, anti-reflective coating. The indices are embossed, not applied. And with it being embossed, it's more durable if the watch takes an absolute beating. It also eliminates any chance of, of misalignment and allows the Beck to have this big loom circle. Speaking of loom, we're looking at a C3 Super Luminova. And I've got to say that loom really is incredible. Now for me, Zebec is in the category of the ultimate micro brand. They're a very small outfit and every single design and specification decision is made with that one thing in mind. And that is what is absolutely the best watch they can make with the budget that they have. And with micro brands such as Zebec, the answer is always designing and manufacturing the best spec for that budget. So what do you, the consumer, get? Well, what you get is a solid, well-spec diver's watch for little under 250 quid. It's solidly built with a reliable Seiko NH38 movement. It's fantastically designed with a really impressive loon, a standout bracelet and clasp, and it all sits behind a brand that has history, that has feeling, that has a meaning. And it's watches like this and brands like Zebec that makes people like me fall totally in love with the microband world. I love this watch so much so that I'm actually going to purchase one myself. Well, good morning, Zebek. See you later. Absolutely spanking weather. I'm back. 
down in the ground with his fox family. Although he didn't have Night Night Zabak 